Hello guys, welcome to Gate for Geeks. In today's video, I will tell you how to find the booth encoding of a number or of a multiplier and total number of addition, subtraction and shift operation needed in doing that. Guys, booth algorithm is basically used to multiply two numbers in efficient way. In the upcoming videos, I will let you know the whole booth algorithm and explain you why we go with booth encoding rather than normal multiplication. You will clearly understand that normal multiplication incurs more additions and some operations rather than booth encoding. So in this video, first we will learn how to find the encoding of a number because that will be used in our upcoming videos. So better you understand that first. So let's begin. So guys, as I told you, booth multiplication algorithm is used for efficient multiplication and reduces number of arithmetic operation than required in normal method. So suppose you have two numbers, uh, 101 and 110. This is basically 5. This is 6. When you do multiplication with normal method, you will get the result in some number of operations you don't know i will let you know in later videos now what happened this is multiplicand and this is multiplier so what booth algorithm does it simply converts the multiplier into different form into an encoding which when multiplied with the multiplicand the resultant is same but the number of operations reduces so for this i am writing directly then let you explain how it comes so basically for 6 it will be 1 0 minus 1 0 so now it is 100 percent sure when this number is multiplied with this you will get the same result 30 but with lesser number of operations so now the purpose of this video is how to get the encoding this of any number so basically first of all i will explain you for six then some big number so six is written as for six the first step is convert the decimal number into eight bit binary number 8 bit is important guys also uh, whether the multiplier is negative or positive it doesn't matter it gives the same result the booth encoding result will be the same it has no effect on the resultant multipli multiplied value after converting into 8 bit second step is add an imaginary zero in the end now third step is we have if 0 to 0 then write 0 if 0 to 1 then write minus 1 if 1 to 0 then write plus 1 and if 1 to 1 then write 0 you will you will uh, understand this so for 6 the 8 bit number will be 0 1 1 0 this is 4 bit I will, 1 0 2 so this is 6 now as I told you you have to add one imaginary 0 imaginary 0 which is added as this is imaginary now you have to take pairwise values and traverse from right to left for 0 0 it is 0 so write 0 for 0 1 0 1 it is minus 1 then write minus 1 for 1 1 it is 0 so write 0 for 1 0 it is plus 1 so write plus 1 for 0 0 it is 0 now you will get 0 0 only so the encoding will become 
प्लस वन ज़ीरो माइनस वन ज़ीरो नाउ हाउ कैन यू वेरीफाई दैट इट इज सिक्स ओनली सो इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल जस्ट दिस इज ज़ीरो दिस इज वन दिस इज टू एंड दिस इज थ्री जस्ट यू हैव टू डू कैलकुलेशन लाइक यू फाइंड द बाइनरी डेसीमल फ्रॉम बाइनरी सो दिस इज प्लस टू की पावर थ्री इंटू वन प्लस ज़ीरो इंटू टू की पावर टू प्लस टू की पावर वन इंटू माइनस वन प्लस टू की पावर ज़ीरो इंटू ज़ीरो सो दिस विल बी एट माइनस टू विच इज सिक्स सो दिस इज हाउ वी फाइंड एन कोडिंग ऑफ अ नंबर नाउ लेट एस टेक सम बिग एग्जाम्पल सपोज यू हैव टू फाइंड दी बाइन बूथ एंड कोडिंग ऑफ मल्टीप्लायर नाइन्टी टू सो गाइज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू राइट दी बाइनरी नंबर एट बिट बाइनरी नंबर ऑफ नाइन्टी टू सो इट विल बी जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो लेट्स काउंट वेदर इट इज एट बिट और नॉट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन इट इज सेवन बिट गाइज सो वी हैव टू एड वन जीरो इन द एंड now the second step is to add the imaginary zero so i'll adding imaginary zero this is my imaginary zero now the most important step is you have to remember this encoding guys this encoding is very important you have to remember this so the most important part is scanning the string from right to left and picking up the pairwise value and comparing it from this whether it's 0 minus 1 plus 1 or 0 <clears throat> so starting from this zero zero will give zero zero one zero two one will give minus one one two one it is zero one two one it is zero one two zero plus one zero two one minus one one two zero plus one and zero two zero it's zero so this is going to be the booth code for it okay guys now if you want to verify <clears throat> you can uh, simply uh, when you find the decimal value of a binary number you have to do it like same way it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 2 to the power 6 minus 2 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power One. When you calculate it, you will get ninety-two as result. Mm, when we calculate it, we will get sixty-four minus thirty-two plus sixteen minus two. It will be forty-six. Oh, guys! It means uh, I have uh, did wrong binary conversion. The multiplier is forty-six. We can check this. Check the green one. Zero one two three four five. So it will be two five plus two to the power three plus two to the power two plus two to the power one. So this will give thirty two plus eight plus four plus two. So guys, yes, this is forty six. Sorry for my mistake. The multiplier is forty six. I have written the binary for forty six actually, not ninety two. Suppose you have to find the both encoding for ninety two. So the first step is to convert the number to binary. So the binary number for ninety two will be zero one zero one 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 zero zero. So guys, this is already in eight bit. Now second step is add an imaginary zero in the end of the binary number. So this is my imaginary zero. now the most important step is this guys you have to remember this you have to scan the number the binary number from right to left right to left scanning okay guys you have to scan it from right to left and then pick up the pairwise value and check what is the output for it so when i start scanning it is 0 0 for 0 0 it is 0 again here 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 will be minus 1 1 1 will be 0 1 1 will be 0 1 0 will be plus 1 0 1 will be minus 
and 10 will be plus 1 now when you calculate this you will get 92 for sure 1 2 3 4 so yeah plus 128 minus 64 plus 32 minus 4 this will be 64 plus 32 minus 4 which is 92 so yes guys this is how first you have to convert the decimal number into binary then you have to add imaginary zero then just learn these four rules and you can easily convert any decimal number into binary now number of additions subtraction and shift operation needed will be it is very simple guys like suppose you have this binary encoding so in this additions will be number of positive 1 subtractions will be number of negative 1 and shift operations guys shift for shift operation what you have to do is you have to do uh, numbering for each value 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and you have to add all the values where 1 is appearing so 1 is appearing at 6 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1 so number of shift operations will be 16 and additions will be 2 subtraction will also be 2 guys let's see one more example quickly i have already solved it as in the question we have given multiplicand as this and multiplier as this so as i told you for multiplier this is the multiplier you have to add one imaginary zero which i have added now as we know for zero zero we have to write zero zero one we have to write minus one one uh, one one zero one zero plus one zero one minus one one zero plus one zero 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 one minus one one zero plus one zero one minus one 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 zero and 10 plus 1 now this is the booth code and as I told you total number of addition is total number of positive 1 so here in the booth code total number of positive 1 are 4 and also total number of negative 1 are 4 so total subtraction will also be 4 now as I told you total number of to calculate total number of shift, shifts what you have to do is just write uh, 0 1 2 3 4 uh, of above the uh, bits of a binary number and add all the bit number where there is one appearing whether it is positive or negative in the booth encoding of a binary number so here like 11 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 4 3 and 1 adding all these number will give you total number of shifts i hope you guys understood this topic thoroughly the main purpose is to calculate the booth encoding of a number because this type of question is asked in gate in one mark so after you have understood this now in the next video i will try to cover the booth multiplication algorithm which will explain you why we use booth algorithm instead of normal multiplication to multiply two numbers thank you